Space is big, dark, and scary. It plays host to some truly terrifying phenomena. It also contains beautiful and awe-inspiring things that make you forget your fear and look out into the stars with awestruck fascination. There's still so much we don't know about space, and I doubt we'll unlock its secrets anytime soon. All we can do is keep watching the skies and see what it brings us next. Speeding stars, rock rain, freaky fog, it's all going on up there. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 terrifying, yet beautiful, facts about space and us. 25. A star can be torn to pieces. Black holes are cosmic death traps. They swallow up passing objects, but they also do other terrible things. It's possible for a black hole to mess up a star like an angry salesman putting a document through the office shredder. Stars can be shredded? <laughs> they sure can, and it happens approximately every 10,000 years. A slow motion flash was observed in 2015 by a team from MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. They'd been aware of this patch of space for a while, yet it was only when the flash grew alarmingly bright that they then realized something violent was going on. It was a TDE, or Tidal Disruption Event. This is where a star gets too close to a supermassive black hole and is just torn to pieces by gravity. The star winds up as a loose stream of gas, with everything else circling the hole like space rubble. 24. In space, liquid becomes a sphere. You're probably aware of how things like water behave in space. They start floating around in big globules. The fact is, in outer space, wet things form a spherical shape. Why is that? Because there's little in the way of gravity to pull it down to ground level. That explains the floating. In the meantime, the water has to do something with itself. Surface tension draws it together on a molecular level, where it balls into a small, compact shape. Not sure how that's terrifying, but there you go. 23. The Three Galaxy Types do you know your galaxies? Well, you've got your elliptical galaxies, your irregular galaxies, and your spiral galaxies. As you may have worked out, these types are determined by their shape. However, the content is highly significant as well. Elliptical galaxies can be spheres. They can also be long and thin, like bananas. <laughs> I'd love to visit a banana galaxy. If you're looking for a bunch of old stars, the elliptical galaxy is where you find them. An irregular galaxy has no defined shape. Surprise, surprise. You can find old and new stars inside there. For a collection of brand spanking new stars, go to a spiral galaxy. They look like a trippy, spirally whirlpool in space. Despite their appearance, the galaxies are all created the same way through the power of gravity. 22. Velcro in space. Here's a tricky problem you might not have thought of. How does an astronaut scratch their nose? There's a big old visor in their way, just a lot of, ah. <laughs> Enter Velcro. The rough part of this material is perfect for leaning forward and getting rid of that aggravating itch, all within the relative comfort of your own helmet. That still sounds miserable. I wouldn't hate to have an itch and not be able to scratch it. 21, the star that burns for 10 trillion years. Red and dwarf are two words familiar to many, thanks to a popular sci-fi franchise. A real red dwarf, however, is a small and extremely common star that burns hydrogen. They're colored red due to the fairly low temperatures. These stars also burn for a really long time. And I mean a really, really long time. A red dwarf could take 10 trillion years before finally saying goodnight. They make the sun look like a teenager. You see, suns only last around 10 billion years. Plus, size isn't everything for a red dwarf. The smaller they are, the better they burn. 20. Shrinking Comets Something beautiful and freaky happens to a comet when it gets within the range of our sun. We usually think of a comet as a chunk of space material with a long tail. There's actually more going on than you realize, because much of the comet is made up of gas. A rocky looking nucleus becomes coated in ice as it travels through deep space. Close proximity to the sun turns the ice into a gas cloud, which surrounds the nucleus. This cloud is called the coma, and it's typically hundreds of times the size of the comet's core. The coma is then shrouded in a hydrogen layer that expands, making the comet even bigger. 
While all this is happening, it's worth remembering that the solid material of the comet has actually reduced. It kind of shrunk, becoming the center of a huge gaseous ball. The term used here is sublimation, where the form alters, yet the essence of the object remains the same. 19. Tales from Space Now, I just talked about a comet's tail, and you may be wondering why that happens. It gets its tail through pressure exerted by solar winds and the sun's magnetism. Together, these blast chunks off the comet, which then stretch out and trail behind. And things don't end there. A comet actually has a couple of tails. One is made of dust particles and is curved in shape. The other comes from a reaction of ionized gas, basically gas where the atoms and molecules are charged with electricity. This second tail is blue and sticks out at an angle. So basically all comets are tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. That's what I'm getting at. 18. Fog on Pluto. The surface of Pluto is reportedly rocky and mountainous. And where there are mountains, you often have fog. Pluto's fog is made of nitrogen, which maybe sounds strange, but this stuff really isn't that different from our own. It hangs at a distance of 60 miles from the ground, according to NASA research. And the sight of fog strengthens the idea that Pluto isn't dissimilar to the surface of Earth. 17. Europa's secret ocean. Europa is a moon orbiting Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. One of the four large Galilean moons, it was named after Zeus's lover, the Phoenician princess Europa. That all sounds pretty great. But what's even more impressive is the possibility that it holds alien life, hidden from view in a secret ocean below Europa's icy surface. This surface is thought to be up to 15 miles thick. Much of the mass below could well be salt water. It's estimated that Europa's ocean is as deep as 100 miles. All experts need to do now is find it, get down there and see what might be waiting to greet them. Would you go? 16. Shapeshifters in space. In 2020, something was spotted that made a supermassive black hole even more terrifying. Objects described as large shape-shifting blobs were picked up in the middle of the Milky Way. Hovering in the vicinity of the black hole, these are believed to be stars. So why can't they keep their form? The power of their enormous gaping neighbor leads to them being stretched and reshaped, twisting them out of the shape that nature intended. Still, their misery probably won't last long. Like anything that comes close to a black hole, it's only a matter of time before the blobs are consumed. 15. The Coldest Planet The exoplanet Ogle 2005-BLG-390LB was discovered in 2005 and is over five times the size of Earth. And I'm just going to call it Ogle, even if it isn't the most wholesome name in the cosmos. Ogle lies beyond our system, at an approximate distance of over 21,000 light years. It's also a gas giant, meaning it has levels of hydrogen or helium as part of its makeup. So there's no point in trying to land on it because you'd probably just fall straight through its cloudy surface. And it would be a freezing cold experience too. It's thought to be negative 364 degrees Fahrenheit. All the Gore-Tex in the world couldn't handle those temperatures. 14, the hottest planet. Now, if you feel like you need to warm up after that last entry with Ogle there, then why not visit TOI-1431b, another exoplanet and gas giant it's several hundred light years from our planet. With a sun-facing surface temperature of 4,892 degrees Fahrenheit, you wouldn't get so much as a tan as a uh, melt into a bubbling pool of goo. That is hot enough to liquefy metal. And there's not much respite on the dark side of the planet either. Double the size of Jupiter, it gives a whole new meaning to the expression, hot and heavy. 13. Man in the Moon. Literally. Did you know that a human being is actually buried on the surface of the moon? You see, this individual was Gene Shoemaker, widely seen as the father of astrogeology. So in other words, he's shown a light on the terrain of objects such as our moon. So who better to receive the honor of having a lunar burial? Though I, I should actually point out that it was his ashes that went into space, which, you know, it's much more practical. Shoemaker also has a comet named after him, together with astronomer David Levy. This comet became unique in human history when the super rare sight of it colliding with Jupiter was observed by experts. While he sadly died in a car accident, Shoemaker's legacy is recognized through his final resting place. 12. The wedding ring that was lost in space. If there's one place where you shouldn't lose your wedding band, space is definitely it. The Apollo 16 mission of 1972 threw up unexpected challenges for Ken Mattingly, who was pilot of the command module. 
His journey into space involved exciting stuff like landing on the moon and going for a spacewalk. This incredible experience may have been affected, however, by the fact that his wedding ring was missing. The wonders of the cosmos kind of pale into insignificance if you think your better half is going to kick your butt when you get home. Mattingly's ordeal lasted until day nine of the mission when the ring was finally spotted floating out the door during the spacewalk. Charlie Duke, who'd been part of the iconic Apollo 11 crew, made a failed attempt to grab the ring, and all seemed lost, until the ring ricocheted off Mattingly's helmet. Duke managed to get a hold of it, and Hubby's bacon was saved. 11. The Star Factory A star is born when gravity mixes with gas and dust to generate heat, leading to a super intense process known as fusion. Because our universe is chock full of stars, it's safe to say we live in the middle of a giant star factory. The Milky Way has impressive numbers when it comes to star production. However, it's actually a slacker compared to Cosmos AZTEC-1, or something to call it Aztec. Situated 12.4 billion light years away from us, this starburst galaxy is believed to churn out 1,000 times the amount of stars. This is also a fairly young galaxy, or rather, we're looking into its past from far, far away. Aztec-1 is actually an ancestor galaxy. 10. The Search for E.T. This list is all about terrifying, beautiful things, and who we are as a species. Nothing captures this more than our belief in alien life forms. It's a mystery we may never solve. On one hand, it's a no-brainer. Of course there are aliens, because of the sheer number of planets and exoplanets we've seen through telescopes over the centuries. On the other hand, the Earth could simply be a fluke. That said, it's entirely possible that life exclusively formed on this planet. We are increasingly discovering conditions that could potentially support life, such as on the Martian surface. You probably remember me talking about the so-called secret ocean on Pluto too. Now, if we find these aliens, we may become terrified if they have an Independence Day style invasion planned. Or, or maybe we'll have a beautiful Close Encounters type experience. Whatever happens, there are obviously far more questions than answers at the present time. 9. Anisotropies This next section concerns the CMB, or Cosmic Microwave Background. Otherwise known as fossil radiation, it represents the earliest light that appeared when our reality was created. Everything got started as the result of the infamous Big Bang, so think of the CMB as the blue touch paper being lit on the universe. How do you measure something like this? You do it by using anisotropic calculations. I'm sorry, come again? An anisotropic measurement is one where your surroundings are different in different directions. Basically, the opposite of being the same measurement in every direction. It all takes a fair amount of explaining. Luckily, we only need to worry about what these calculations mean. By studying the slight variations in the cosmic microwave background, we're beginning to figure out the basics regarding how things evolved following the Big Bang. A ginormous subject and a complicated process for sure, but no one said the nature of the universe was a quick study. 8. Rock Rain A little earlier I mentioned fog made of nitrogen on Pluto. Weather features such as fog and clouds are essentially water vapor, though you get a different kind of cloud altogether on Karat 7b. Another exoplanet that behaves in a weird wild way, Karat 7b rains rocks instead of water. This happens because on this world, you have rock vapor rather than water vapor. As you can imagine, the temperatures here are extremely toasty, 4,220 degrees Fahrenheit to be precise. Interestingly, Karat 7b has a massive supply of oxygen due to all those rocks being vaporized in the inferno. 7. Heliopause We know the sun is hotter than Florida asphalt, but what about surrounding regions? There's a spherical zone around that big blazing ball called the heliopause. This, in turn, forms the boundary for something known as the heliosphere. Instead of going around the sun, the heliosphere kind of encloses the whole solar system. Both contain magnetic fields and solar winds, which are charged particles flowing from the sun. So now you know what the helio is going on up there. 6. Space Shield Radio waves are invisible, yet they help us in all sorts of ways. For example, they can offer us protection. Strange as it sounds, radio waves are cocooning us, fending off things from outside like solar flares. We already have a magnetosphere, or a layer coming from the planet's magnetic field. 
All the low frequency radio waves we've created complements that, acting as an additional space shield. When the Van Allen probes were launched back in 2012, they were able to observe to what extent these waves had affected the upper reaches of the planet. 5. The Bullet Cluster There is matter in our universe. Then there's dark matter. Well, at least theoretically. Scientists have been trying to get a glimpse of this powerful yet unseen force since the late 19th century. They haven't succeeded so far, though dark matter being visible may explain a few things there. How can they be sure it exists at all? A bullet cluster is one intergalactic feature that gives them hope. Studying these colliding space clusters up close seems to reveal a discrepancy, whereby one type of matter is in a different position to the other. An overall view of the mass appears to indicate the presence of two types. 4. Tadpole Galaxy Speaking of things colliding, check out this awesome tadpole galaxy. The tadpole galaxy was found 420 million light years away in the Draco constellation. Its weird shape is the result of being hit by a compact galaxy, which led to a 280,000 light year long tail stream. This distorted the appearance of a poor unsuspecting spiral galaxy, but on the bright side, it produced a true cosmic oddity. Hopefully I'm looking at it. If not, it's just me staring off at nothing. Three, gamma ray record. Gamma rays are powerful things, as anyone who's watched The Hulk should know. In real life, however, gamma rays are producing bigger surprises than giant green men with a colossal trouser budget. In 2023, the Hess Observatory noted the highest energy gamma rays on record from their location in Namibia. These emanated from a pulsar, or the remains of a dead star. The rays were measured at an extraordinary 10 trillion times the energy produced by regular light. No amount of concrete walls could protect us from that. 2. White Dwarf Speed Demon A white dwarf star named J0927 6335, god they've got to get better at naming things, has been awarded the title of fastest star on record after blazing a trail in 2023. This stellar core, formed after its surrounding mass was essentially burnt out, moves at a rate of 1,420 miles per second. Known as a hypervelocity star, and with good reason, it was shot out into the universe following a Type 1a supernova. 1. Shh, the universe is a quiet place. This last fact is easily the scariest. In order for sound to travel, there needs to be air vibrations. Imagine you're out in space and you need to scream. Well, I'm sorry to say that no one will hear you. Actually, that sounds a little familiar from a certain sci-fi horror movie, doesn't it? You know what? Okay. How about in space, no one can hear you belch. Space has no air, and because of this vacuum, it's impossible for sound to be picked up. Which I guess in the case of belching is actually a blessing? Mm. So, this one's just for me. What is your favorite starship of all time? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones, links in the description. We've done a lot of space ones. I'm running out of end questions to ask, so that's what popped into my head. Sue me. <laughs> anyway, are you ready to explore more of the universe in a spacecraft powered by facts? There we go, spacecraft. Another video is waiting to be watched. The link for you is right here. Click it. Let us know what you thought in the comments below, and I'll see you soon for a brand new list. That one, and probably the one I'm going to film later. I'll do these until the universe ends.